Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to do a service on my Gardner Denver ACD1. I got this machine out of a scrap yard. I'll show a couple pictures of it when I got it. Apparently it was at an airport at one point. Um, I was going to, I've got some corrosion on the outside of the belt guard here. Strangely enough, the best tool to to take the guard off, like, because I, when, I, when I put this thing together, I didn't have stainless bolts. So I just put regular steel bolts in there. So the, the best tool to, cut, to remove these would be an air tool. And I've got the system bled down right now, so. So I think I'm gonna order some stainless and I'll come back and do the guard later. But uh, today I'm just gonna do an oil change and I'm going to put uh, a new belt on here. You can see there's only one belt on there now because I had to take one um, take one off so I can match it up. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna put new belts on it, change the oil, tighten the uh, drive belts up, and then... Uh... All right, what I... What I have here is I have a neodymium magnet on the end of the, I don't know if you can see that because the light's so horrible. I have a neodymium magnet on the end of the drain plug. I'm going to, that, uh, my thinking is that if there's any magnetic particles in here, it would attract it to the drain plug and keep them from just recirculating through the system. This is a horrible design uh, because it just dumps the oil out here. There's really no good way for me to get it out of the machine. I'm going to see if I have a, I think that's a half inch pipe, uh, pipe plug. I'm going to see if I have a piece of tubing that maybe I can move this out here, bring it back. Alright, so what I need to do to improve this process is, is to get a length of pipe and bring this out here a little further so I can drain it. And then the other thing I need to do is figure out a way to jack up one side of this. My floor jack won't fit underneath the feet of this. So the machine is slightly tilted the wrong direction and I can't. I've got a three foot pry bar on it and it's still quite not enough to lift this machine because it probably weighs about a thousand pounds. Um, anyway, let me show you the extent of my damage here. Yeah. Anyway. Not ideal. So what I like to do with these is I'm going to dump a little bit of, I've got a, you use anything without a filter, you're supposed to use non-detergent on as far as I know. Um, I'm going to use some regular cheap non-detergent oil to flush through the system. Just dump a little bit through and flush out whatever residuals in there. Anyway, I've got this this old bottle jack in here, and I've got just the slightest bit of pressure to, to tighten the belts up here. And um, the, the, the important thing with this is to try to keep it perpendicular to the to the drive belts. So um, anyway, I just put just a tiny bit of pressure on here because it's easier than trying to reef on this with a, a pry bar or something like that. So I'm going to take this off now. Oops. Oops. Just a little bit of pressure. And now I'm going to change. The air filter. I think the most important part of an uh, air compressor is having a good air filter. So, uh, anyway.
Yeah, with these pre-filters. A lot of times you want to put a little bit of oil on me. Just try to coat the outside in oil to uh, help attract any particulate. All right, so that's the Walker Turner AC D1. Uh, sorry, not a great video. It's sort of, you know, it's hot out here, and I'm trying to. It's it's hard for me to multitask with these things. So so anyway, uh, all I would say is that uh, change the air filter on your machine, the, uh, the oil. Change that pretty regularly, and remember, there's no there's no uh, petroleum to break these things down, and there's no filter. So so anyway, just because oil looks clean doesn't necessarily mean that it's still got the same. Uh, properties that it did when it was new, so just you know, there's probably there's more there's experts out there that tell you why, but uh, but anyway, because these machines are expensive, it's uh makes sense in my mind to change oil periodically, um, and then just try to keep the air clean coming into this. Um, I do take the valves out from time to time and check those today. Uh, it's really it's hot out. It's sort of and it's been working fine. So so maybe I'll do that on a cooler day. Uh, just sort of a visual inspection. There's really nothing to adjust. Um, Anyway, real happy with this machine. Thanks for watching. I'm going to leave you with the time lapse of this thing filling up.